Shalom, Yasharala. This is Yeshaya with a Car Chronicle. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this one as brief as I can. It is a very loaded subject. Um, by now, I think we all have had uh, our laugh. Well, I didn't. I'm not going to lie. But uh, a lot of us have had a laugh about this girl that got hit in the face with a brick. Um... <clears throat> And I'm going to be honest, as far as do she deserve or did she deserve a brick in the face, to that notion, I say that anybody, anything that happens to anybody, they deserve it. Um, and this is me saying as far as if God allowed it, it was deserved. Well deserved. You can't, you can't argue with what God, if, if you are a person of faith and believe that God has all power and could have stopped it and did it, you have to understand that it was it was it deserved? It was, it had to be deserved. You know, God knows her spirit. God knows her, her life. You know what I'm saying? God, God knows things about this young lady that nobody else knows. Now, as a human being, Right. Judging. Do I see anything that says she deserved to get hit with a brick from my mortal human eyes? I'm going to say that <clears throat> I don't I can't fathom anything that she did. From a human standpoint. That made her deserve to get hit with a brick. However, any time that you have these divisive situations that come up. You have people taking sides. I'm not going to take sides with the guy that hit her in the brick just because he's a man. I'm going to examine what I know. Now, I don't know anything about the situation. I don't know what led to it. What is alleged is that she declined to give a man her phone number. And I'm going to be honest and I'm going to say that I don't believe that narrative. Um, for one, we can't believe what she ordered, what she said then and there because she was concussed. Um, there's a narrative that she's lying and, and I'm going to take it a step further and say maybe she doesn't really know exactly what happened. You know, she she got hit in the face with a brick. Um well, according to a video where she was in the hospital, she said she was concussed. So understanding that and you understanding how concussions work, you'd be I'd be surprised if the woman knew where the fuck she was standing at at the time when she was like, oh, you see all these black men, you know, but I am going to talk about what she talked about, the whole notion of black men protecting black women. I'm, I'm all for it. I do believe that. Black men should protect innocent black women. And by innocent, you know, you're going to look like a fucking dumbass if you put your life on the line for a bitch like that. Now, she got hit in the face by a brick by a nigga. You don't think that that nigga hit you in the face with a brick? So, and I was on a clubhouse call yesterday and this, this woman speaking. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of them weren't doing this young lady no, no, uh, Whatchamacallit, no justice. Like they were going in on her. But they said some things that I agree with, such as, you know, you you women that go around here talking about black men should always should stick their neck out and protect black women. Would you dumb bitches ever fucking tell uh your brother, a male that you care about, a loved one? You only tell black men that you don't care about to stick their neck out for these obnoxious bitches because that's who it is. I am 100%, I'm a Latino man. I would stick my neck out to defend a black woman or Latino woman that's that I see as innocent. But if I see a bitch slapping niggas and, and twerking and shit, listen, I'm not saying I'm not wishing nothing on her, but whatever happens to her, you know what I'm saying? That cockiness that you that a lot of you black women have is it, gonna come back and bite y'all. 
And I am not going to fucking stop you from judgment. You know, you're going to get what's coming to you straight up, you know, and it's, it's not hatred because like I said, I'm not automatically siding with the man. I'm just saying the woman was, uh, there's plenty of videos showing her being obnoxious. And I'm going to be honest with you. People like her, people like Takashi 69 people that troll people, they need their asses whooped. I don't believe she, like, I, I would not have supported her getting a brick to the face. And that was very cowardly. I don't give a fuck. Like, that woman does not look like she could fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, at at worst, if, if she did something worth, uh, worth some type of violence, an open hand slap would have been more than enough, honestly. And I'm not telling men to slap women. I'm just saying, rather than hit a woman with a brick, you know what I'm saying, at least cut them some slack and, you know, hit them with a fucking hand. You know, don't break their fucking face. Like, that's crazy. You know, that's excessive. But like I said, because I'm not, I wasn't there. Because I wasn't there. I don't know exactly what happened. I can't say shit. I really can't say shit that I don't, you know, because that's one thing about being a, a Hebrew Israelite. We can't go around making judgments on things that we don't know about. And a lot of brothers, a lot of practicing Israelites are already doing it. I'm not going to say she, like I said, a, a brick to the face is excessive for mouth and off. But now, then again, we don't know. Did, did this woman spit on somebody's child? Does this woman tell somebody your child looks like a bat you know you, you there are a lot of things you can do to, to merit getting your ass kicked or or you know some type of violence um a brick to the face is very excessive in my opinion i don't i don't think even if she spit on somebody's child like if anybody spits on my child or or does any harm to my child Cause I had a stupid fucking bitch comment on my Facebook yesterday, unrelated, but related, you know, because I, I posted something saying, I wish people would ask the five questions that we were asked in elementary school to ask who, what, where, why, when, right? And this bitch talking about, oh, there's nothing other than, than self-defense that would, that the aggressor's side even matters. Okay, judge, jury, and executioner. That's what I, like, honestly. And it's probably because she probably knows that in a roundabout sense, I was talking about this situation. And women want to be protected, right? But here's the thing about being protected. You women, you black women, especially these days, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you nine out of ten times, you are not the damsel in distress. You want to you want to be rescued by a man after disrespecting another man. So now, if I stick my neck out for you, the man who I'm fighting is probably a man who felt disrespected. You know, it's not a man who, you know, like, oh, you're you're just so fucking. And, and you know what it is? It's 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 being it's playing the fucking victim when you're the aggressor. You want to talk all that shit. Right? Don't you see what men what happens when men talk shit to men? Now you want to be a woman and talk shit to a man. Well, guess what? You want to go into that arena, bitch. You take what the fuck comes with it. You took a brick to the face because you a dumb bitch. And I'm not talking about her in particular. I'm saying in general, you know, and her too. You know, like you take what comes with it. If I go out in fucking at 44 almost 44 years old i go and fucking get you know become a gang member start doing gang shit and i get my ass killed to the fucking drive by guess what i stepped into that field i'm not an innocent bystander you black women i'm sorry i'm singling y'all out because y'all are the worstest ones Ch chill the fuck out with that mouth 
You want to find a husband? It's it's your mouth. It's it's the shit that comes out your mouth that makes nobody want to deal with you. You got men, you got black men hopping on airplanes and going to other countries to find women because they can't find a black woman that they want to be with. That should tell you something about how desirable you are as a collective. You might have some individual great, beautiful women, but I'm going to tell you, if, 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 if most of your men, you consider black men, you know, your men, right? Because they don't want my Spanish ass. You know what I'm saying? Actually, they do, but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> but when you have such a great man, a black man, that's that feels that it's better to hop on a fucking airplane and find a wife that doesn't speak fucking Anglo. Better than you. I would I would consider at, at the very least consider am I one of those examples that he's thinking about that made him give up on black women? Do I act like the bitches that made niggas give up on black women? You got to think about that. You really have, it's really something to think about. I am not bashing black women. That's all I date. <laughs> you could ask anybody that knows me. That's all I, that's all I date. I, I put up with a lot of shit though. This is one thing y'all don't know. I put up with a lot of shit. A lot of brothers in the, in the faith that don't know me, they think that these black women that I be with be treating me good. No, they don't. I put up with the abuse. <clears throat> I mean, I put up with the abuse until I get, can't take it no more. And that'd be what, what, what makes them so fucking mad because they, they, this is what, what it is with black women. When you get a man that tolerates your shit, you think he's weak. No, he's just trying to see if he can, you know, it's like a waiting game. Like, yo, are you going to fucking get your shit together? Oh no. Bye bitch. You think a guy like me has to fucking wait for you? Like, come on. You know, we don't have to take y'all shit. Honestly, we don't have to take y'all shit. Nobody has to take y'all shit. You know, you know, I could have easily fucking dated white women and been married a long time ago. You know, I choose to. That, that's the that's that's really the the women that I like are primarily Judites, meaning Black Americans. Benjamites, West Indian women, and Levites, Haitian women. And I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> if Haitian women didn't stick to their own, I would marry one in a heartbeat. Or I would have been married one in a heartbeat. Like, like Haitian women are great women for the most part. I've met some pretty ratchet ones, and that's because they're trying to be like you fucking black American women. It's funny because black American women got all these other women wanting to be like them, but they don't. Because you know what? At the end of the day, nine times out of ten, a Haitian woman is going to find her a husband. A white woman that wants to be like a black woman is going to find her a husband. You know who's not going to find a husband? Is most of you black women that have this mentality that a man's got to come rescue you from a fucking storm you created. Now you sitting here slapping niggas, talking about you don't need a man protection. And then you want a man to protect you. Oh, the, all these black men didn't protect me. Oh, don't don't get inside. Don't 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 fucking run your mouth. Like, if a man tells you, oh, I want your phone number, whatever. You know, I've seen I've seen videos of black women ridiculing men for wanting their phone number. Brother Holy Bible Defenders, I don't know what his name is, but that's his page. He posted a video of some fat bitch from New York City talking about, look at me and look at you to a normal looking guy. Y'all y'all women can decide for yourselves if he cute or not or, or whatever, handsome. I don't judge men. But he looked like a normal dude. He didn't look like, you know, he wasn't overweight. He looked like a, like a normal dude, probably a Latino dude. And she's like, oh, don't disrespect me like that. Like what, bitch, he's, he's offering you 
something more than what you are going to get. What type of man do you think you're going to get at, at, at the end of the day with that fucking attitude? Apparently, she, she she's a, a, a YouTube influencer or some shit. But honestly, she's just a dumbass fucking New York bitch. Look at me and look at you. Like, what? Uh, undesirable. This is this is this is the days that we're living in. An undesirable black woman is saying, "Don't disrespect me." And the nigga hadn't even yet said, "You want to do something strange for a little bit of change." That's crazy. Like how how this woman thought she was that much of herself. And she is totally fucking undesirable. Like, literally, you look at her, you're like... And at one point, she said, look at me and look at you, and twirled her body around for the camera. Like, she doesn't... But like she's not an 800-pound water buffalo. Like, she's not a big, fat bitch. Like, seriously, a gargantuan, fat bitch. And I'm not talking like I'm skinny. But I'm not the one sitting here walking around saying everybody wants me. You know, so going back to the brick in the face, because that's the that's the the premise of this thing. I'm not sitting here saying that you don't have some bad men out here that 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 abuse women because you have a lot of them. But what I'm saying to you, black women, as as brotherly and loving advice. Because as a, as a Latino man, I hope y'all y'all understand that we are your brothers, too. Even if a lot of Latinos don't act like it. And the ones that don't, they're fucking race traders and fuck them. But uh, as as a brother, I give you advice and I tell you this diva attitude, this 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 shit that you know, acting like you're the shit and belittling others that that is not going to help you find a man. In fact, that's gonna the same way somebody would tell me giving a cop an attitude might not be what gets me shot by a cop, but it will be a justification when I get shot. I'm telling y'all, you're stepping into a world, you are the weaker vessel, you are not physically able to withstand a fist fight with a man. And you're talking shit to a man, you're belittling a man, men in general. You're asking to bump into the right or, or actually the wrong fucking man. And only bad things can come out of that. Only bad things can come out of what you're doing. And I would never, I would never defend a woman that's out here belittling men. I would never go out here. I don't give a fuck what heinous shit is about to happen to you. Because I would only put my life. I owe it to my daughter. I owe it to my mother, my father. I owe it to you brothers in the faith. Not to put my life on the line. For somebody that's not anywhere near innocent. For somebody that's disrespectful already. That, that's already asking for an ass whooping the scriptures tell you man i always love pulling the scripture a fool's lips enter into contention did she not enter into contention with multiple people because the video where she slapped that white boy and twerked was not the same night as when she got hit in the face with a brick so so although the guy that hit her in the face with a brick may not know who she is May not know that she has a history of slapping people and twerking and shit. God knew that. God knew that. So you see the connection here? Because if you don't, then you're stupid. If you're going to say something negative in the video about what I'm saying, because I'm giving you nothing but positive advice. I am not justifying a woman getting hit in the face with a brick by a man, much less. I am totally against domestic violence. I'm totally against bullying because that's what domestic violence usually is. It's usually a, a fucking guy that, that can't fight. You go out in the streets and you fucking get 
smacked around and pushed around by men, but then you want to come home and take it out on a fucking soft woman. You know, I don't have no respect for, for, for men who act violently to women, but you women got big fucking mouths. I'm sorry. Particularly, particularly the black women. And I say this to you out of love. I say this to you because honestly, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the biggest problems with y'all. And the elder, my elder Bon Lawyer used to say, man, the, 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 the bigger the mouth, the shorter the hair. It seems like the biggest mouth bitches cannot grow hair. I remember at one point he was he was teaching at camp. And he, he pointed out half the camp. He didn't have long braids, but me, Tawabraka, and uh, Basadar all had long braids. He said, the black man has, has more hair than the black woman. And he pointed all of us out. You know, because it's 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 like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all y'all already y'all already have to slap another woman's hair on your fucking head to feel like you're pretty. When in reality, y'all are some like I, I'm, I'm I'm not simping. I really believe that black women are, are are in their natural state if they grow their hair naturally and do things right, drink water. Some of the most beautifulest women on the planet earth man real talk but the fucking mouth takes away from your beauty y'all talk so fucking much shit and you can't fucking back it up at the end of the day the 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 roughest toughest fucking woman is not gonna fight the average man you're gonna call somebody but guess what this nigga you you can't call nobody on you don't even know who the fuck he is look at that <clears throat> and honestly, niggas that did that do shit like that do also make it hard on brothers like me because it gives me, it makes me not even want to fucking, not even want to fucking uh, what you gonna call it? What's the word I'm looking for? It makes me not want to ask a woman for her number. I'm a single man about to be 44. What if I meet a female, but I'm like, oh, I don't want to ask for her number because. She'll she'll fuck around and think that I hit her with a brick to the face, or or do something harmful to her. I might fuck around, and ask for a number, and get fucking mace, you know. So, this is not a good situation for anybody, black men or black women. But the biggest lesson to learn here is for black women. Listen, these niggas is not paying playing fair. Y'all need to play a little more fair. Don't be so fucking belittling. Like, th th that's the problem with a lot of you. And this, this, this is not just black women. This is black and Hispanic and Native American people from the hood that we all think we're fucking comedians, and we like to belittle others and make other people laugh. Like, I don't, I don't do that. I don't. I, I stop laughing very quickly when I see what's going on. When I start seeing that, no, this person's just basically trying to belittle this other person. You know? You know, we don't do that shit here. All that belittling, you know, fuck all that belittling shit. You know, we're not doing that shit. You know? I I, I stopped laughing. Like, that shit ain't funny. That shit ain't funny. You know, and then and then and then And then some other bitch that I know commented on that video with the girl got hit in the face with a brick talking about, oh, is y'all men's ego so fragile? And it's like, wait a minute, bitch. I didn't hit the bitch with a brick. My ego is for perfectly fine. I will say this. Y'all women really should stop putting men down. It's not doing y'all no favors in the dating pool. And honestly, are you any better than the men that you're putting down? Let's keep it real. You know, but anyway, I've ranted long enough. 
Lord willing, this this uh, this video is going to land on ears that are ready to hear and understand, and not fucking bash and talk shit. Or oh, you are you you Hispanic? What do you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I I I, I don't get that, but. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I heard it, you know, but with that, I'm going to say Shalom to my Israelites and to you who are not practicing Israelites, but are by blood, which are black, Hispanic and Native American people, you know, rise up, you know, let's, let's get on God's side because this world is coming to an end. You got niggas hitting bitches in the faces with bricks. All right. Shalom.